independent client customer McRickard. This is uh, through contractor SIP. Uh, this is uh, delivery day, and so we've actually got all the cabinets delivered here. They all fit in the front room. They are in an acclimated area. They're in an air-conditioned area. Uh, if you take a look here in the back, you've got all your base cabinets, your pantry cabinet, all your base cabinets under the molding. Your molding's on top. Here's your plans and your touch-up kits right there and your uh, contract information. Doors, and then all of your wall cabinets are out front. So this is the exact way that they're going to be loaded into the kitchen as far as installed into the kitchen. And they're right here next to the front door so the cardboard can go straight out to the truck. Uh, this is the preferred way of stacking when you deliver. You want all your base cabinets in the back, your tall cabinets in the back, all of your wall cabinets in the front, and your crown molding elevated up off the floor. So you don't have problems with uh, warp and crown or anything like that. Let's take a look in the kitchen area. All right, we're here in the kitchen area. They're finishing up the uh, mudding today. Uh, they're going to be doing priming. Uh, after they're done with all that, uh, they'll get started with kitchen cabinets tomorrow. Um, floor thickness, they may end up having to put the cabinets on blocks. Uh, just a reminder, if we need to do that, we need to know the thickness of the flooring that's going to go down. Otherwise, uh, all of your, your doors and window trims have been removed. So the 24-inch that we had issue with over here as far as being close is uh, still good as far as plenty of room there. On this side, you got your walls cut down and mudded already uh, for the pantry area, and that's all looking good right now. And then right behind me, he's working. It's for the refrigerator space, and uh, it is all looking good as well uh, as far as the depth for the refrigerator space. Uh, ceiling height in this room uh, is 108 um, without a floor, 108 and a quarter average. Um, so our moldings and stuff that we've got designed should work out fine. We got four inch blocking as our top block molding. Um, so you shouldn't have any issues there. But uh, otherwise, all the stub outs look like they're in pretty good shape. Two by four by eights, need two of them for cleaning for this area for the void section. Uh, also for the uh, back side of the, uh, of the uh, cabinet above the refrigerator. Uh, and make sure we bring uh, Craig Jig stuff for the range hood area that we're working on. Uh, otherwise, I think you're in good shape as far as uh, ready to go. Uh, if this mud's all dried out and good uh, by then, I think you're using hot mud, so you should be in good shape. Any questions, give me a call, 423-650-1051. Have a great day.